Hey guys, welcome back to another Windows 10 Mobile Technical Preview Review video. So today we are going to see a deep review of the Lumia 640 XL running Windows 10 Mobile Build 10586.164. And this time I was a little late, I know that because I was doing a deep testing. So I have given my shared this phone to one of my friends and I checked a lot of stuff before that like performance, battery life because I was getting a lot of questions regarding the battery life of the Windows 10 Mobile especially. So I did a deep review this time and also performance, the gaming, every time whatever you can say, all the Twitter junkie, Instagram stuff, a lot of apps download, everything, so many issues are there. So and that's why uh, it takes me time and I made collectively a bug report video too before making this video. So also I will request you guys to watch the first impression videos. Here's the video title and the link in the show more notes. You can check that out before to get all the things that have been fixed out. And also the some of the known issues uh, that Microsoft hasn't mentioned, but we found out during our internal reviews and testing. And this is the video title for all the bugs that we have found till now. And thanks to very much a lot of users who commented with that. And uh, there's still a lot of bugs are still open. I guess around six to seven bugs are still I have in my mind that I figured it out. And yet I have to make another video if we didn't get any build within a couple of days soon. So I will try to film that video again. And hopefully dot 200 build will be started rolling out. And a new, and the recent news is that uh, the dot 16 64 build is already being rolled out for the non insider previews, especially for the, the AT&T customer who have the Lumia 950 and the 950 XL. So let's begin and jump. So uh, guys, uh, this phone, I've been running Windows 10 Mobile from the day I bought it. It's around six to seven months old and I'm running this and to be frank, in all the reviews, all the videos that I've made for this phone, uh, I always said this is a very nice phone for Windows 10 Mobile. And a couple of drawbacks, for example, uh, some camera is not performing as much as expected and uh, the memory is uh, slightly low as compared to other just eight gigs not very much so this is a second issues and if you're going to buy this phone buy an LT version because uh, definitely 4G is going to be a future for starting from already lots of people are using LT network so this is my own 3G so don't recommend that so coming to the performance of the device so as I said uh, it's looking very nice, especially the battery, you can say. I have charged that uh, still on a dual SIM card with the Wi-Fi and the 3G always. This time it's a Wi-Fi. Location I just not turned on and it is giving more than two days. Sometimes I make three days on the normal usage on the dual SIM functionality, you can see. I'll show you guys exactly the battery life, so you can say on 17% it gives two days and 12 hours. I know I can make two days. Uh, I do a lot of, you know, videos watching and uh, Microsoft Edge browsing, so many stuffs I do. And let me quickly show you guys the build number. So this is what we have, the build number 10586.164, you can see. So let's jump and as always, uh, I'm not considering this device a power, power user phone because power user phones are especially with the phone with two gigs of RAM at least. And that belongs to Snapdragon 800 series, for example, even 930, old 1520s and all 950XL. These devices are power user devices. So. Uh, these phones are general phones, so you should be doing normal stuff like Outlook mails and things that you will do. Now these things are, you can see, a uh, snappy performance, no problem at all. Uh, it really works, all is fine. You can use Facebook thing, everything is working very nice. So I mean, store is also working good. There are a couple of issues uh, I found like if you uninstall the app and still, it, for example, you check for update and uh, it was shown in your downloads and update section, but you haven't updated that app, but still you go and uninstall that app and it will still show that if you try to click on it will re-download the app. So that's weird that you cannot get rid of that one even if you reboot that phone. It will show you in the update. So kind of issues, uh, I will make a new video here guys. So give me some time, I will just waiting for the new build. And uh, here maps uh, is going to be Tata for the Windows phone. And they're not going to support anymore from the starting 30th June. Uh, here Maps is no longer working for Windows 48.1 and Windows 10 Mobile. So hopefully if you guys uh, have anything stuff to back up all the things, you can take that back up. And the people apps, a lot of any apps you open, uh, they all works very fine. And no problem, let us open the Outlook and all this thing. So you can see, uh, always smooth performance. I really like this sound. Nothing at all. So you can watch all the previous videos too. I never had any disappointed this phone just for, with terms of memory and things are there. And whatever known issues are there, you can watch the bug videos that I have found. I, I shown you 11 bucks uh, on that one. 
so you can check that and to get all the you notes know, list of bugs that are there VLC player and there's some issues group with the film and TV apps that is there in Windows Phone 10 mobile it's not able to play the mp4 file exactly it is playing but it's not displaying the audio so you need to use the VLC for that here's the one uh, film and TV right here yep uh, if you try to play something I was playing some, some cartoons of the Tom and Jerry and it was not playing the sounds but when I switched to VLC for Windows and uh, it was showing so I will recommend to use VLC for Windows very nice player at all let's see Twitter in case you're using Twitters so working very fine big size big screen so no problem in case you guys have any questions or queries you can uh, tweet to me at the GI support or you can write on my hashtag and uh, I used to post a lot of stuff nowadays edited news and everything you can check that there the true color working absolutely fine so almost any app you can use day by day use whatever you use it works really fantastic and no problem at all and even though multitasking is very nice we will just see how things will work still there is a limitation of uh, eight processes you can see so you need to take care in case your device is working slowly so you should have to go and check that things whether really some more apps are open or not so you should go and close that So you can see app switching is still very fun nice because uh, some icons are missing I've shown you on that bug video Twitter nice now let's close things things and we'll try to play some games and see anyway uh, this has a very nice processor snapdragon 4 and it is nice let me see what else game I, I have played a lot of games here so let me close all the apps first and yeah it does has this build has some freezing issues i don't know why uh the 520 is a damn freeze phone and uh, i've shown you guys exactly it was freezing very a uh, lot of freezes were there you can check out the previous video that i've shown you today so let's uh, try to play and sub game so first we will start with asphalt and let me turn on the location and this one so you can notice the app opening time And this filming I'm doing with the Nexus 6P because the low light uh, video recording is very nice in this phone. So that is why I'm just retaining my 1020 because this is a very faster phone and recording is done very nice here with the Android apps. So a couple of lags are there because already I'm playing in this high graphics mode. Uh, that is why. I'm not going to complete the complete mission, just I will do some of the stuff. So smooth performance, not an issue. I just want to bust that guy number four, he's broken me down there. Oh my god. Let's jump to another game and uh, so we'll play another game. So anyway asphalt is playing very nice, uh, no problem at all with asphalt. And uh, let's quickly jump to some temple then. It was most of us are playing that one, so let's play Temple Into. Tomorrow I will make uh, this video the 6:30. Also, I haven't used the network, but I used a lot of playing games and all 6:30. So I will make a video for tomorrow for that, and maybe for 10:20 then. It looks nice, right? 
this uh, I don't know this uh, out of stock now I think you can get that so no lag at all you can see it looks fantastic no problem at all and even looks gorgeous to play in the make correct One lag I found, and just the first one. Anyway, uh, we'll just move to another game. So Temple Land 2 works fantastic, no problem at all. So really I'm not able to play very hard because I'm not a good gamer at all. And uh, now let's see uh, the Stream League Soccer we have here. So, And I'm also working on some uh, new apps uh, video for the months and already I made for the February and March I'm collecting. So I already have 4 to 5 apps and I'm searching for some of the other apps so make sure I will, by next week I will post that. Uh, new app series video so don't forget to subscribe guys in, in case you want to watch all this uh, nice app so I didn't find any lag in this game also as you can see uh, works nice I just want to show you guys if there's no lag at all so works fine uh, no need to play this game further uh, you can see uh, very nice uh, let me show you guys in internal memory how much I have consumed there so you can get that too on the storage and yeah uh, this uh, after I moved this uh, as asphalt or all to this SD card now I got this uh, 4.8 gigs so nice and uh, you can also move this keyboard to up and down there really if you do there you can switch there so there's already a separate video for that you can check that out already I have a lot of videos so no worries on that uh, if you have this device go ahead and update to windows and mobile you will get a rocking battery life smooth performance just make sure to manage some space uh, accordingly because you need to some at least uh, two gigs of space when you're going to update to new build so don't forget to uh, bump your device with all the space crunch so try to move the SD card stuffs and uh, this device is won't disappoint you uh, no issues at all working very fine loading always come in the whatsapp so doesn't bother about that so that's it guys a quick review for this uh, lumia 640 xl uh, for the windows 10 mobile 10.5.164 if you like this video uh, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to watch more in case you have concerns and queries to let me know on that twitter account at gi support or hashtag gi support i will try to address those as much as possible so thanks guys uh, i'll come back very soon have a nice day ahead